Now, police officers spend most of their shifts in their cars. They're trained to drive safely, but that doesn't always happen. Tonight at 11, the ABC 7i team takes a deeper look at the consequences and cost of crashes where police are to blame. But first, Josie Sturman is here to explain how local departments are trying to prevent those accidents. Well, Maureen, those accidents happen more than you think. We found hundreds of them in reports we obtained from six major jurisdictions. The local departments we've spoken with say dropping those numbers is a priority to protect you and their officers. That's why training is a key, and a Noakesville facility is helping to get officers ready for whatever they encounter on the road. Weaving through cones, dodging obstacles, fighting the rain. These police officers are practicing worst case scenarios when it doesn't count. We want to make them proficient drivers behind the wheel of the car. We want to enhance their skills and we want to make them very good decision makers. Because the decisions officers make have an impact on public safety. That's why the Northern Virginia Criminal Justice Training Academy puts officers from across the DMV through the paces before they hit the road for real. The goal is to prevent police involved accidents by building skills behind the wheel. They have to think before they actually engage. Here they engage in on the road training and they took us along as they put cops through controlled crisis. We want them to really induce a good skid, something like this. It's intensive training from the outside in. <laughs> with recruits and officers getting retraining on simulators that push the limits. You come to a complete stop, that red light, clear that intersection. And let them try scenarios where they can make mistakes and no one gets hurt. I'm convinced that high quality driver's training, law enforcement driver's training, does make a difference. But there's no research to say for sure. Here's an area we haven't even been paying attention to. Longtime criminal justice researcher Dr. E. Jeffrey Rojek says causes and cures for police involved accidents haven't been formally studied, but agencies need to take a closer look. How do we find ways to have good evidence to then both what happens as well as effective programs to reduce this? And um, sometimes they're spurred by very notable cases. And in the D.C. area, we've seen them with people killed in police involved accidents. They're trapped tragedy spurring change to public safety, but those accidents persist. And tonight at 11, we'll break down the crash numbers for the police departments where you live, and we'll hear from local people who have felt the impact of those accidents, and we'll show you how those crashes ultimately end up costing you. Josie Sturman, ABC 7 News. Leon. All right, thank you.